Yay, hold on. Hold and on. we're live. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Mia Voss doing follow-up interviews to ShiftCon 2014, and I'm talking with Esther Grandal today. She was one of the participants with ShiftCon at home, so I thought it would be fun to talk with her and see what ShiftCon was like for her, not actually being at the conference, but sitting at home and attending everything online. So welcome, welcome. It's great to see you. Thank you. It's great to be here. Thank you for asking me. So if you guys are wondering how I found or how we found each other, we've got this little little romance going online is that Esther was responding and tweeting to me after Sheffy and I did a couple shows at ShiftCon and then I started following her tweets, which I, again, I loved the power of Twitter for this event. It was so eye-opening to see. As you're seeing people speak, we had two uh, monitors up during a lot of the presentations and you'd see everybody's reaction and including yours, Esther, of what you were feeling, what you were thinking, what was affecting you. Very cool. Probably one of the funniest ones, you may not have seen it, was when Gary Hirschberg was speaking and one of his friends tweeted, Gary is so hot. And that, <laughs> I actually have a picture of Gary with Twitter, Gary is so hot next to it. So there was certainly some humor infused into this very uh, serious situation. But So tell us about you and how you found out about ShiftCon and what it was like for you at home. Okay. I am interested in foods that do not have chemicals in them, so I'm, I research, and I found ShiftCon about a month ago, and it was too late for me to be able to make arrangements to go, and I really wanted to go, but it was just too late. So I just, um, when Joanna Liberty posted that we could attend Shift, ShiftCon at home and follow along, I was thrilled, and I just decided I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to sit at the computer and kind of, go along with what everybody else is posting and just be able to try to be there with them even though I couldn't get to be there. Oh, that's so cool. So then did you have the presentations up and then your Twitter window and you were just going to town? I didn't get to see the presentations live. I got to see when when the convention started, I got to see people's updates. They were excited and then when the speakers started, you could see the shift happening. It was like they started tweeting about changes they wanted to personally make in their life because of Robin O'Brien's talk. And so it was really neat to watch from home. What a cool concept you're mentioning is that you can, you're from the outside just watching this growth of people mm -hmm. like getting inspired, shifting, changing, outraged. You know, one of the, the things I was mentioning to Gary Hirschberg offline was that it's, you know, a lot of the jobs of, of a lot of these speakers is, is quite frankly, to make people mad. And you know, get them mad, we gotta get mad and go, what? They're what? It's kind of a, I'm calling it the what the F, you know, moment for a lot of people. And then you give them the information on how to get empowered, how to get involved so that there's a lot more disclosure and transparency. Agreed. And that's what it, that's what it's about for me, is I just wanna be able to know what's in my food. And sometimes I can take myself way too seriously. So I loved your show because you keep it lighthearted, and I was having fun. <laughs> Yay, getting your learn on and having fun. Then I just want to throw down the mic and walk off the stage because that means my work here is done because I'm enjoying <laughs> it and getting and how fun was it? First of all, getting to I got to sit next to Leah. Now I've had her on my show before, and then to be in that same energy was like that. Ooh, she's got this force field around her, and then everyone around her too that she brought on this crazy team of people that were just making things happen. It was it was pretty cool to see. So I'm excited that you'll be there next year. I mean, how how cool that you found out the month before, but could still get get a feeling for it. And and now you were using the uh, hashtag ShiftCon at home, right? Yes. I I decided that. Well, I have key things that are important to me as far as changes I've made in my life. I've changed out ingredients in my food, and I've changed out beauty products I use. So I just decided I was going to use that hashtag in a sentence of everything I've changed. And it worked. And I really, I had fun. I enjoyed it, but I love to teach people about it because I want to help moms and dads who may just want to make one small change. They might not be able to change everything, but they might just want to change one thing. And so I kind of wanted to come across to people who might be willing to change their cheese. You know, yes. from a, one brand of cheese to something that wouldn't have. You that's know, glyphosate in it or something like that. Yes, I'll tell you that's a really common thing. I mean, what were they talking about with the bread? That I, I mean, there's I, and and I consider myself now, Esther. I consider myself like fairly savvy. 
and this kind of thing. But I had to have a little reality check of like, Ooh, girl, you are you got a, there's a lot a lot going on, and and I'll tell you a lot of the the brands that were there that they it was it was just each one of them had a simple message based mm -hmm. on some pretty big things that happened to them in their life too. Like most of these people, it was not just to wake up and I'm gonna change things up, but it, but it's also doing things like like you did. So I love it that you're living by example. Thank you. I mean, it is personal for me too, but I don't like to get all deep right away. But I will You're share at the end of this, aren't you? I got to romance you. When I when I do launch my blog, I haven't launched, but when I do, I'll share I'll share my story about why it's personal for me. I but, so appreciate and I appreciate you saying that. If like you need to gather your thoughts and you want to get your message out there, because I think a lot of people do sort of re rely on that. Um, but I think it's a little bit of a a combination of here's why it's important to me, and then here's what I'm doing, the what and the why all at once. So I can't wait to hear it though because I can, I can definitely sense your passion on it. But I love again too that you're you're doing it with helping people with simple steps. I think that's probably one of the, the, the biggest um, downfalls or one of the, not downfalls, but, but hurdles that people have to go through is not feeling too overwhelmed. It's a little bit intimidating because you're used to these brands that have advertised and then you say, oh I don't know this, this brand. What is this other brand over here? Oh, it, it's a brand that might be like I brought I brought props. It's safer, okay? It's a safer yeah. choice. Yeah. This is organic Valley dried milk. So it's a safer choice for me. And it's maybe a family might not know that brand, but then I can teach them and say, this product doesn't have. And I'm not sponsored by anybody. I don't. I don't do any sponsorships. I just am my own self. <laughs> but you're your own brand advocate. Right. So I just, that's all. I like to teach people just simple things like that. I think you brought up a good point. I remember about a year ago, oh, this friend of mine, we were at a, we were at a, a football party, which means that I just space out and get on my phone. <laughs> so this friend of mine had this game, and it was uh, Guess the Brands. And so it had the logos, but oh, right. you couldn't, uh, didn't have the words on it, so you had to guess the brand. And now that we're ha in this discussion, I just thought it was interesting and a little bit frightening, and they actually had this video about um, about the was it the word healthy, healthy and organic. They had this kind of spoof video, and I don't know if that came across for the Shithcon at home, but it was this kind of spoof corp about corporate corporate people of just popping these different words on there, and how we you know we're all like lemmings and sort of going over the cliff of like ooh it says healthy, ooh it says organic, and there's just absolutely no. Um, there's no accountability for a lot of things. Two mm -hmm. people that I, I ended up talking to, um, one was Molly Suds. I have all my business cards here because I just got Ooh. so so inspired by everybody. Molly Suds and then Healthy Hoo Hoo. Right. I, I saw have, that. I wonder if we could, you know, start counting how many times I said Hoo Hoo during the show. It could be a drinking game. I was so uh, just cracking up. But but these were uh, the laundry soap and women's feminine products. And it was a very eye-opening. I joke about it, but right. I'll tell you, very eye-opening. And and real quick on the label thing, because I had the uh, organics was all I think it's organics was there, and they they gave us all these feminine products. Well, on the plane ride home, I had my bag stuffed full of them because I got so much stuff. But I wasn't worried about it because the brand label you wouldn't recognize. I'm like I don't care if anybody sees this box; they're not going to realize I have eight boxes of tampons in my bag. Although I did, uh, I did get, you know, searched at the airport. But, um, but it's so funny about. I just thought, you know, nobody's going to recognize these. So good point about people not uh, going for things that aren't familiar to them. Sometimes they just need someone to suggest something new, and to replace it. That's all. So. Yeah, and it's. I know it's really simple, isn't it? But I, the thing that I liked about Leah the most is that she dreams big, and she she had this vision. And she did it. <laughs> I have a son, and it's really hard to get anything accomplished. If I take a shower one day, I am thrilled with myself that I took a shower. top of the world. Shower. <laughs> oh my gosh! And I know you're doing, and you're doing big things too. You're keeping your family going. And again, this this one by one thing is awesome. But I agree with you, and Leah's, Leah and Mark. Leah and Mark are a powerhouse. That was the one thing we got to see was behind the scenes. And Mr. Bookie Boo, as they call Mark, of of really, I mean, talk about it, a strong unit, and then all the people that are involved in it. So I can't wait for you to be there um, next year too. 
thank you for asking me to come on and talk about ShiftCon at home. I really appreciate it. I had fun. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. And now tell me what your call to action is so we know when we can go and get the big reveal on what your story is. Okay, I right now have a group on Facebook called The Food Mamas, and I teach parents about better brands to buy and better choices. And on, on Twitter, I am Mama Grandal, and a hashtag one small change. And so I post one small change that you can make every day on Twitter. So you could follow me on Twitter. And when my blog is launched, then you know I'll post. I'm a few weeks out from that. So when your blog is launched, I'm gonna make a sound for you because you're just gonna love this. This is the noise I'm gonna make for you when your blog is launched. Get ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we'll put out there for you. Okay, listen, everyone, please go and follow Miss Mama Grandal at, at Mama Grandal at Twitter and then the Facebook group again. Let me see what is that called. It is called Food Mamas. I mean, could not get any more any simpler than that. Thank you so much, Mia. You're welcome. Thanks for sharing your experience. Again, I think it's really important to see how this change can be made, how you can attend these different events and still make a change at home. And then get encouraged too. I bet that, yeah, I'm going to do that for you. I heart you. <laughs> I heart you too. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Bye. The funniest ones you may not have seen it was when Gary Hirschberg was speaking and one of his friends tweeted, Gary is so hot. And that <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a picture of Gary with Twitter. Gary is so hot next to it. So there is certainly some humor infused into this very uh, serious situation. But so tell us about you and how you found out about ShiftCon and what it was like for you at ShiftCon. And then I started following her tweets, which I, again I loved the power of Twitter for this event. It was so eye-opening to see as you're seeing people speak. We had two uh, monitors up during a lot of the presentations, and you'd see everybody's reaction, and including yours, Esther, of what you were feeling, what you were thinking, what was affecting you. Very cool. Probably one of the, not actually being at the conference, but sitting at home and attending everything online. So welcome, welcome. It's great to see you. Thank you. It's great to be here. Thank you for asking me. So if you guys are wondering how I found or how we found each other, we've got this little little romance going online is that Esther was responding and tweeting to me after Sheffy and I did a couple shows at <laughs> Yay! Hello. Hello. And we're live. Hello everybody. I'm Mia Voss doing follow-up interviews to ShiftCon 2014 and I'm talking with Esther Grandal today. She was one of the participants with ShiftCon at home so I thought it would be fun to talk with her and see what ShiftCon was like for her at home. Okay, I am interested in foods that do not have chemicals in them, so I'm, I research, and I found ShiftCon about a month ago, and it was too late for me to be able to make arrangements to go, and I really wanted to go, but it was just too late. So I just, um, when Joanna Liberty posted,